50 years is a great benchmark. I mean, and that's, I, this is my 50th year here. As I started to think about it over the last couple of years, I wanted to make sure that I stopped before I had to stop or before somebody told me I had to stop. You know, I, I've talked to other people who are retiring and they said, you'll just, you'll just know when it seems right. And I, it was almost an unconscious thing. I just felt like this was the right time. I'm not going to miss the paperwork. I'm not going to miss the, uh, the cold weather, uh, but I am going to miss the, the, just the, the sense of, uh, the fraternal sense that we always have had with the band. And the, I mean, I've made the comment many times, I keep getting older and they don't, but there still needs, there still seems to be a, a relationship that, that I've, I'm going to miss immensely when, that, when that's gone. He was a wonderful director. He learned your names, which was a wonderful thing because he knew you personally until you made a mistake. And then he knew you even more personally, <laughs> which was one of the endearing things about him. The first game I ever saw in Camp Randall, I was the director of the Wisconsin band. And uh, it was, we played Oklahoma in 1969. It was the first game. And uh, I mean, I was, I, had, I couldn't have been more ecstatic about the situation. The band had a lot to, had a lot to be desired because I was new and I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, but that first game was was something I just I won't be able to get out of my mind. I just feel the hair stand up on the back of my neck when I hear on Wisconsin. The band comes out of the tunnel and that's the first thing they do. It's, it's a, it is a very emotional time. You just feel the school spirit, you feel the tradition, you feel all the things that, that you know have happened, uh, not only about the band, but about, about the university. And uh, I have made the, the comment, when that doesn't happen, I'll know it's time for me to quit. Thankfully, it still does happen. And it, just last Saturday, uh, when we, they came out and did it, I felt that same, that same energy surge of it doing it. Right now, I have a grandson of a, a man named Bob Rooney who was in my very first band in 1969. Now, Bob Rooney's grandson is in this year's band. And so he sort of completes that circle of, uh, of things. But I've had so many uh, uh, kids who are, whose parents were in the band, and, and sometimes both parents were in the band, and now the, the, the students are in the band. When you hear somebody say, uh, I met my wife or I met my husband through activities from band and, and we still relate to what we do, or, or you hear uh, being a band changed my life because I met my wife or met my husband, that, those are, that's pretty powerful when, when, you hear, when you really think about what that happened. What's beautiful is that he loves us. There's thousands of people that have been through the ranks of this band. And when we're out there practicing this morning, he remembers our names, he remembers the era we were in. Um, he's, he's got a gift, he's got energy to spare, and because of it, I think it's radiated out of him into thousands of people that have been through this, this walk of life. Is there one game or, or one, one event that kind of sticks out in? in Rose Bowl, 1993, 94. I had been here 25 years, and I thought, any chance to do the Rose Bowl had passed. I mean, I, I, and I was, and I was content. I, I really was content. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, the Badgers got good, and they won the opportunity to play in the Rose Bowl. And because it had come after such a long wait and really unanticipated, the entire state of Wisconsin just went berserk about Wisconsin, the Rose Bowl. Here we were doing one thing after another with, with the the end result being at the Rose Bowl and winning. Uh, and so it, uh, no, uh, I've been to five since then and they've all been great, but because it, it was the first one, it was just a, just a very special time. The really gratifying and maybe the thing that's gonna make not doing this anymore so hard is, is uh, I, I almost get a, a letter a day and when I first made the announcement, I, I had stacks of letters of, of people that, that said that they had changed their life. All those things that happened, uh, they're nice for me to reflect on. And, and if I did change their life, great. When I shake hands with all the kids in the band after that last game, uh, 
and I know that the seniors, that's their last time. Uh, that's, that for me has is, is always been very powerful. You can say, well, we're going to come back and have a bowl game. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's not Camp Randall. It's not that, that environment that is, that's been Wisconsin uh, tradition and heritage. So it's, uh, I, I can't help but know that I'm going to be very saddened by it. I developed sort of a phrase that I talk about with the students called moments of happiness. And for me, life is filled with moments of happiness, but not just happiness. You, you, nobody has a life that everything's been the way they wanted it to go. And there's always been disappointments and discouragements and so forth. But what you learn to live on is those moments of happiness. And, and when you go through that tunnel for the last time, it's going to be a combination of moments of happiness, of of all the great memories that will be stirred up and then moments of sadness because I know I'm not going to do it again.